All right, this is the bike uh, we're going to take the ride on over to the haunted house. Haunting in Connecticut house. And uh, it's a Vespa P200. Has the largest engine ever put in a classic Vespa. Need a motorcycle license to ride it. And it's, it's kind of a fun bike. All right. It's got a four-speed clutch. And I'm going to go across my lawn. Let's start this ride. I'm sorry about the camera. I'm going to use this shaky helmet camera to do this a little bit because... My other camera, really, you can't get a good view of things that are, like, on the side of the road, the house and other such things like that. Um, all right. The ride, this, that, I'm in Southington. I live in the same town. And, uh, I'm going to ride, I'm going to ride towards the center of town and then go over, over to the house. It's not far from here. Um, All right, I'm gonna close my helmet so it's quieter. Okay. Right, that haunting started in like uh, 1985. Family moved over there with a kid who had cancer and uh, the house used to be a funeral home with a mortuary in the basement. And they remodeled the basement and the, put the kids down there and then uh, all kinds of odd things started happening and they uh, believed that there was a demonic presence there. I'm going to bounce around from subject to subject a little bit because I'm going to show you the town and where around it is. This is Southington. There's nice restaurants, nice things here, smoking at Chris. This is one very popular. You can eat outside in the summer. They smoke and uh, food over here and all kinds of stuff. There's a walk path. There's a path here that's extremely uh, popular. Always crowded. I'm going to Turn down Center Street here from the back. And this is this is a very uh, busy area, restaurants, so forth down here. I've made videos about this area before, so I'm not going to get too deep into it. Um, okay. family moved over there because they wanted their kid had cancer and they wanted their kid to be closer to Yukon Medical Center and they thought this, this was a bit closer than where they were now I'm going to be getting right on here on Main Street Route 10 which crosses um, Meriden Avenue which is where the house is which is right down the street I'm sorry about my head going all over the place, but I got to look around a bit. Okay. It's the center of the town. If you come down here on Wednesdays, uh, during the summer, there's a lot going on over here. They have music on the green over here and a car show sometimes. And uh, It's a good day to come down. There's restaurants over here in the center of town, down Center Street. So if you come down to take a look at it all, I'll pause here for a moment. All right, I'm getting back on the road. I'm having a rough time with the on and off but in here, so I had to stop for a minute. I didn't want to waste your time. But. All right, this is, uh, this is Main Street, Route 10, and uh, this is Meriden Avenue, which you turn on to from the center of town. 
it's really close, very, very close. And uh, you make a, just make a little left here. Now, if you come this way, the house is on the right. Um, played a bit of traffic today. Jeez. Okay. Now there's a lot of old houses here, and, and if you live here for a long time, everyone's got a little story to tell about their old houses. So, it's not uncommon that you hear some type of story. Oh, 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 stopping here, 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 here it is. And this is the house right here. And you know it is, you're, you're at it because there's uh, concrete p things here. You can't miss it. And uh, these concrete pillars. Only house that has them. There's a few houses that look like this house around so you can get confused. It's on 208 on, on the street on uh, Meriden Avenue. And the cemetery that they, uh, I think that the bodies, a lot of the bodies went to is right here on the left. So it's opposite the cemetery. See it right here? I'll pick up some speed. This little P is pretty quick. It can cruise at 60, 65 miles an hour. And there's a little uh, place you can pick up food over here that's really nice, right down the street. Lewis Farms. Nice place to stop and get a apple cider um, donut and some coffee and things. There's lots of other things in there. It's right here. All right, now I'm going back the other way. Here I go. I'm gonna pop onto this road real quick. And look, we'll, I'll we'll look at the house from the other side of the street as well. So, um, the house had a uh, Ed and Lorraine Bobbitt came here, and they uh, they were demonologists. That's what they called them back then, and they. Uh, they uh, cleansed the house, they said. I think it was in 1988 that they, they, they did it. And it was started in 1985. Um, I stop every so often because I'm on a scooter and I'm looking around to make sure <laughs> no one, uh, things are safe. Um, When they went into the house, they said they saw uh, th two women dancing and singing down there. And uh, and they were uh, in a, they were holding hands and spinning around in it. Um, I'm trying to get the bike into neutral. Hold on. I'm fighting with the bike, but they they uh and they vanished. When they, when they went down there. There's also one really odd thing that you don't hear from the stories, but this is really weird, that uh, supposedly uh, the, uh, the entity was uh, molesting them as well. She came out screaming half naked onto the street one day and uh, said that the, it was molesting everyone in the house, basically, you know? Um, which is weird, you got the... Uh, <laughs> Even the kids and everyone, so that was kind of odd. But they said they couldn't escape it. When they left, went to another house, it went with them. Um, 
I'm going to go back onto uh, Main Street here. All right, this is the uh, Cummings house, and uh, it's right up here. See it? I'll try to get a little closer. This camera uh, has quite a wide angle, so everything looks small. There you go. That's it. There's a, see the, uh, there's a well over there, and there's the house. And uh, that house, the Cummings family built it. And uh, very long time ago. And uh, there's a lot of mystery around it. I don't think they spoke a lot about it because they were a very prominent family, very rich. Uh, you know, they were doctors. They did a lot of uh, work with kids and uh, charities, but they moved out of that house quite quickly after it was built, and uh, they never went back to it, really. They rented it out, just went into disrepair. There was a lot of mystery around it. Some people say that uh, that well, they, some kids were thrown into it or something, or the mother and the husband killed them or something, and they covered up that well, but... I don't believe that's like a kid's story. I think uh, there is a lot of mystery around that house. There's uh, it, it, nobody. It's people go in there. They never finish rebuilding it. It's always a mess. Not a mess, but it's always you know run down a bit. It's a gorgeous house. They said on the inside, very well built. Um, you know, a lot of little ghost stories. People seeing things in windows, and lights coming on and off, windows dropping. And the people who live there really never talk about it. I think everyone's afraid. I don't know. It's, 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 people say it's because, you know, reputation. They don't want their reputations around or something. Well, that's the, that's the whole thing. Hope you enjoyed the video. Um, yeah, I just slapped this together quickly for something to do today. All right. Take care, man. Bye, everyone.